This is the pineapple flavor. Funny thing, in a car white. Ebo neni? Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. I'm gonna be the tester. Hey guys, what's up? So today we are celebrating a thousand subscribers. <laughs> I'm just practicing you guys. <laughs> Anywho, welcome back guys to my channel. So we are celebrating 200 subscribers. As I'm shooting this video, we are at 206. <laughs> oh my god. As a YouTuber, I'm so so happy. Thank you so much guys. You guys know for every milestone, we cook a different recipe. At 100 subscribers, we cooked ugali and omena. So today, we are going to be cooking chips, masala or chips vuruga. Are you guys ready? So as we do this, if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe because at 300 subscribers, we are definitely cooking another different recipe. So I already have my chopped onion and two pieces of garlic. Uh, garlic cloves. I'm going to need very very fresh tomatoes and they should be ripe. Um, then we are going to have the hoho and ginger and dania. Then I've already prepared my viazes. They are not many because I'm all alone. So I'm going to be chopping my viazes into the sizes that are good for chips. I don't use any machines here, I just use my hands. With practice, you're going to make very, very nicely chopped viazes. Then I'm gonna add um, enough oil to the sufuria. I feel like I added too much oil. So as you can see, my viazes are good. Um, so I'm going to be adding them to my oil which has already heated as the chips get ready i'm going to be preparing the other ingredients for the tomatoes i love to grate them there are so many reasons why we grate the tomatoes number one uki gray tv the outer part amangozi in a baki kwa kando so it's an easy way akubaki nangozi kwa pekeake also when you grate your increasing surface area and so the food will be more red so it will have color and the third reason is because once you increase surface area taiva araka araka so an alternative of grating is using a blender but for me i don't like using a blender ju lazima utoe ngozi time unatumia blender as you can see ni mebaki tu na ngozi ya ju peke yake so this is a good good way to save you time but when you're grating you've got to be careful with your hands so you have to be very very careful for the first time it's going to be hard on you but with practice this is usually the easiest way next i'm going to be cutting this uh ho -ho. instead of cutting i will also grate it and because now sana. so i'm going to mix it with the tomato paste i'm going to add them all together here in Taongeza, are the garlic and the ginger. Next, our chips are ready. We are going to be removing them from the fire. When it comes to removing uh, these chips, before we take a moto, make sure they may even kakauka vizuri. They should be very, very, very crunchy because when it comes to chips masala, you have to mix the chips with that key paste that you saw me doing. Na uki mix kama zijakauka itako ugali, ama hizo chips zita shikana shikana. So make sure zimekauka kabisa. Now I'm going to be adding more potatoes in the Kiva and the left in other ingredients. The oil has become too hot. Ukiona oil imekuwa too hot. Don't add so many viazis at the same time. Juhi mafuta inaeza panda paka imwagike. For safety, 
you've got to be careful. So now this is the most interesting part. This is the making of chips masala. Tunanza na kitungu. I love cooking my onion very very well. So I cook it until it browns. I'm always very very patient when it comes to onion. Well, my onions have browned. I now add the mixture that is the tomato paste, the garlic, ginger, and the hoho. And then I stir. You stir properly under very, very minimum heat because you don't want it to get burned. Um, so easy in it to even bio, especially because they have been grated. So you don't even let it stay on fire. Maybe one minute or something of that sort. As you can see guys, the paste is good, isha eva. So the next thing I'm going to be adding is a little bit of salt. Of course enough to taste. And then I'm going to be adding the chips now, zenye zimesha eva. So I'm done, niku koroga. So as you koroga it, make sure you do it gently, carefully. Because you don't want your chips um, to break. So here, una to me to slow motion kidogo to just be gentle on the chips. Mm, also, I'll be adding the tomato sauce while it is on heat, on fire. When you add tomato sauce at this point, na kwambia huwa inashika vizuri. Don't add excess, just add a little. Remember you had already added nyanya. Then you stir, my friend. The house is smelling good. I know my neighbors are like, who oh, what's cooking, you know? So the last thing you add are those Daniel leaves. Easy as if I give a So you just add them and then you stir for the last time. This stirring I took in more than two minutes because if you stir so much, remember iso potatoes zita katika katika. So be very, very gentle, don't do it fast. See at you kisha. Okay guys, my food is ready. I'm gonna be serving it while hot because this meal should be eaten while hot. So I'm going to serve the food and taste it for you guys. I cannot wait. I'm really salivating. I'm done guys. So here is the food. I'm gonna be the tester. The food is good. No meat. I actually discovered it apply takinyama. This actually needs a glass of juice, maybe. Acha wanza ni JK juice. Because it's a pare. <sighs> so currently Nikona e pick and feel. I'm gonna, um, this is the pineapple flavor. Funny thing, in a car white. Like it's looking so white. I just decided to try the pineapple flavor. Because I'm used to mixed fruits and mango most of the time. So that I can enjoy this meal. It's good. Please try cooking chips masala in your house and tell me the result. Hmm, no, no, no. If you try this recipe, please comment down below. Give me a review. Tell me how you found it. Is it good? Is it sweet? For me, it is so, so good. I encourage you guys to try it. Also, you guys, don't forget to like my video. If you watch my videos, please leave a like. It really helps. And it encourages the YouTubers. So, atakama si video angu. If you watch a YouTube video, please be liking, guys. I'm not really good at speaking with food in my mouth. I guess I'm going to share recipes more often. 
I feel so good. This is so sweet. So guys, tell me if you want me to be cooking more. And what you want me to be cooking, I'll definitely do what you guys want. The support I'm getting here is overwhelming. I'm so grateful, super, super grateful, guys. Please keep on commenting, keep on liking my videos, keep on supporting this girl. And um, I believe we are going to be even road to a thousand, road to two thousand. One day at a time, guys. So, yeah. And keep watching my videos every week. I post either Wednesday or Thursday. But most of the time, Wednesdays. So, please, 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 guys, be, be watching my videos every Wednesday. Meanwhile, I post Mondays and Saturdays. 